the rapid S investment by the Japanese government, I think, is quite pivotal because um, it addresses some of the questions that many investors had about uh, J uh, Japan's chip making uh, capabilities going forward. Mind you, Japanese companies have always had a very strong global presence in the semiconductor production equipment and also material side where they have, relatively speaking, 30 to 50% global market share. But that being said, when it actually comes to the manufacturing of the chips themselves, you know, these are done mostly by the foundries in Taiwan and Korea. And uh, this is where exactly the Japanese companies had lost their dominance from the 1980s. So this new investment by the Japanese government uh, directly uh, hits at this part uh, with a potential for Japan to regain its dominance and the real advanced uh, chiplet uh, production capabilities. And this would be quite key, especially considering the global megatrends such as uh, generative AI. Uh, give us your own sense on the human capital angle to all of this, uh, Kay. You're saying that it's a midterm headwind for Japan. Of course. And, you know, this is, uh, well, first, uh, with respect to, uh, you know, what we'd spoken earlier with respect to the huge push by the Japanese government to grow the semiconductor uh, industry in Japan. Um, clearly, this is a big benefit. And I think it, it's quite pivotal that Japanese companies are working with global uh, companies such as, say, TSMC, um, Samsung, um, IBM, um, and others uh, to really uh, accelerate the growth of these uh, uh, this industry in Japan. But key to this is the human capital angle. And, uh, you know, we do have a great number of very capable researchers in this field, but we don't have enough of them. And this is going to be an issue going forward. And this is why, you know, initiatives like what TSMC announced with the collaboration of research and development capabilities with local universities is going to be absolutely critical. And this is actually why in our engagements of our strategies, um, human capital development, reskilling of labor actually ends up being one of the top um, environment social subjects that we discuss with management because we think this is actually going to be core to the um, growth strategies of many of these companies going forward.